Well, I knew when his quarter was over, I knew what I had to do. He had me down at least 13 pounds to six pounds. And I knew I, he had doubled my weight, but I had the last say, I had the last hour, I was in control. I knew I only needed two bites. This is it, I've got an hour to get this done. You waiting on me? Here we go. Welcome back to Ultimate Match Fishing, and our fourth and final quarter of this championship match is now underway, and Stetson Blaylock is in control of the boat. Now, Jacob Wheeler has five bass in the live well. Stetson only has three, but remember, he is down a pound and a half, approximately, from the shootout, so he's got a lot of ground to make up if he's gonna win the 50,000. For the first part of my, my quarter, I'm running around, and I'm making wrong decisions. I pull in a pocket fish for a minute, it doesn't feel right, I leave. Right then, I'm feeling pretty low. I mean, I, I'm thinking, you know, I only need two bites, but I'm not making any of the right decisions. We're down to about 30 minutes in the match. Blaylock is on the move. He's had bad break after bad break. He, he's got to make a change, and he's got to hit on something. He's got to pull the wheeler in the third period, pull on a stretch where there's several fish, and he can bang a few out and catch up. That's what he's got to have right now. So I take off back to where I have the big ones in, the, in our Big Bass Challenge come up on my bait. I know specifically where he has seen two big fish, a big small mouth that missed his pop bar and a big large mouth on a lay down tree. We refer to her as the white whale. I feel confident he's gonna go there any minute. The silence in that boat has become almost unbearable. Both of these guys, very deserving. They've played great matches, set down lots of people to get here, and it's just literally slipping through his fingers right now. He's got him. Oh no! It's a good fish. Good fish. And it Same freaking one that was there this morning. I set the hook. I've got her. Just get her turn coming my way. Frog flies back out of her mouth. So right then and there, I realized that was one of the ones I needed to make a comeback. I've got three in the box. I need two more, two big ones. That was a busted chance. I don't even get my feet planted back on the front deck. Throw my frog up there, twitch it like three times, and out comes the whale. Sitting right in the same freaking spot. Oh, Got it. Oh. Got him. Got oh, no. him. It's a giant. This is a freaking six and a half pounder. Oh my God, he just lost the winning fish right there. I mean, what do you say? What do you say? Right there was $50,000, bang, bang. A three pounder, and he says a six pounder. Let's just say it was a five. He blows Jacob Wheeler out of the water. It's over, done. It just, it's just, you, you just hate to see it. Somebody's gotta lose, I get it. But bad breaks like that, I've been there, man. It's just, it's not fun. This fish is five to six pounds. Biggest fish I've seen all week comes right up under the bait, and, she, and I'm twitching it, and she comes up under and stops, and I'm like, God, she wouldn't eat it. And all of a sudden, she, she gets this weird angle to her like she's not through with it. And I twitch it one time, and she comes unglued on it, just poosh, takes the frog down. I look down, she's turning, I can't see my frog. That's a good sign she's got it. I rear back, my rod's double. Get the, get the fish coming. I reach up to get both hands on the rod. Psh, it. it comes out. And I'm, no, and, and I'm looking back going, I stop for a minute and I'm thinking, that was it. That was my chance to win this thing. I couldn't say anything about that. I mean, you know, that was, I had to feel for him. Cause that's something that you just never want to happen to yourself, not let alone anybody else. I mean, it just, it was crazy. It really was. That's it, boys. Good job, Seth. You fished a heck of a match, man. Good job. Thanks, dude. That's the end of an incredible season of Ultimate Match Fishing. Let's take it back to Florence right now and crown our new champion.